All right, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, uh, day day six, and we're at Tosley Campground this morning. Got in last night right at dark. It was kind of seems to be a theme, but that's cool. Um, got in, had a little bit of rain last night, uh, but, we, you know, we, we still got camp set up, ate a little dinner, and the rain didn't really come until we decided we went to bed, so that was perfect timing, I guess. Um, yeah, just a little bit of rain overnight, nothing too bad, enough to, enough to get, uh, you know, the rain flies a little wet and kind of make everything damp but no problem at all uh nice campground uh designated spots so you have your own spot private spot um they do have a privy that was built back in the summer so that's nice no uh you don't have to squat over a hole uh no bear hangs no bear vaults or no trash cans like i thought there would be um so burl's ford still takes the cake on amenities but Talks away still a nice campground. Um, and our campsite, which I think, I think it's the third one on the right side of the trail as you're coming down through the campground. Um, I was able to find a very nice limb, really, really good bear hang. So um, I talked to someone last night. I saw them carrying food and they said that it seems like most people go and hang their food off the bridge. So that's an option. I just a little bit paranoid. I didn't want my food falling into the river for whatever reason. So. Nice morning here on the lake. Uh, I'll get some video of that here in a minute. But yeah, today we take on uh, Heartbreak Ridge, which we've heard a lot about and we're about to experience it for ourselves. And we're not gonna go too far today, about eight and a half miles to Virginia Hawkins campsite. So uh, shorter day and just kind of taking our time and enjoying the trip and uh, kind of see where that takes us. But um. Yeah, we almost got camp packed up here and uh, just getting some water and then we're gonna hit the trail. So I had my tent here last night. Didn't put it on the tent pad just so we had room. But uh, yeah, we got everything pretty much packed up. Got a few things to stuff on the outside, get some water and we'll be good. But yeah, we were right on the lake. Lake seems pretty low, but uh, nice sight. Able to hang a hammock, no problem, a couple trees. Um, not a lot of flat spots, but I was able to find one there and technically you probably camp on the, on the tent pad, but I didn't just for us to move around up there if we wanted to and, uh, slept fine. Well, I slept level. Well, not fine, but level. But yeah. Right on the lake this morning. Lake looks really low. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, it's been very dry here the last few months, so maybe that's why, but anyway, yep. Here's our camp last night. So, Privy's just right up here through the trees. A little trail goes up through there. And, uh, yeah. Yep, good morning. So, we're getting ready to hit the trail, and I'll take you all along with me. Okay. All right, y'all. I just got my heart broke at Heartbreak Ridge. Uh, about 285 steps. Wasn't steps, not counting all the tree roots and the rocks you got to step up. Um, there's a break, there's a flat spot halfway up and then uh, another break spot probably. And there's a couple flat spots coming up to catch your breath on. But uh, yeah, take it 10, 15 steps at a time, catch your breath, keep going. Probably took us about 20, 25 minutes, but uh, hey, it's done and over with now and that was the hardest part of our day. So it's, uh, if you, I do highly recommend you do it first thing in the morning when your legs are fresh because I could not imagine doing that in the evening after hiking all day. So anyway, that part's over. You do that at least once in your life, you can say you've done something. All right, a little update for you. We, uh, I think I left you. Yeah, we just climbed up Heartbreak Ridge. That's where I left y'all. And then uh, climbed down Heartbreak Ridge. So when you get down to Heartbreak Ridge, you've got another climb. It's not as steep as Heartbreak Ridge, but it's longer and it's still plenty enough tiring. Uh, I got to the top of the second climb. I was like, I think I would rather just down Heartbreak Ridge again. But, uh, so yeah, a couple big climbs coming out of the Toxaway River this morning. But, uh, I think we're, uh, probably on autopilot here the rest of the day. So right now we're following some logging roads. I think I mentioned, uh, yesterday that, uh, that seems to be a theme from halfway on. Kind of follow a lot of logging roads, so... Just some gentle ups, gentle downs, nothing too major. So we're um, 
yeah just making progress about three miles in on the day five more miles to camp it's only one o'clock so plenty of time should get to camp pretty early tonight be nice to be able to get some stuff hung out get everything set up and uh get some stuff dried out so looking forward to it but for the meantime just plugging away on this logging road and i see a red gate up here so i'm gonna see what all that's about All right, y'all, just a little bit of an update. We uh, we got to camp at the Virginia Hawkins campsite about five o'clock, and uh, there was a couple of other people here, and uh, you know, we just kind of hit it off and uh, you know, got to talking, and anyway, got camp set up and had a nice fire, ate dinner, just had some good fellowship, and uh, yeah, just had an overall great evening. So. Uh, yeah, good day overall. Um, tomorrow we're actually going to get out of here a little early. Uh, we're pace wasn't very wasn't as quick as what we thought it was going to be, and uh, we only took so many days off work, so we got to get out of here and go back to work on Monday. And uh, because of that, we're going to get a shuttle ride out of here. Um, so we have a pretty short hike tomorrow, about four point seven miles to a trailhead uh, to get picked up, and. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. We'll, uh, we've been out here um, six days so far, so um, had a good week. But uh, yeah, we'll come back and finish the last 14 and a half miles here soon. But um, yeah, anyway, end of day six, good day. And uh, yeah, that's it for tonight. Time to get some sleep.